Hello and welcome. <laughs> God Wait, damn it. I'm not, re not recording. Why did, I wasn't uh, expecting. Why? Oh, I just added a second track. Fuck. Wait a second. Stop. Get Eric said action track. and I went. And you double actioned. Why is it giving me two tracks all of a sudden? Every oh, time I hit record. This, this sucks. Oh, no. This sucks. Well, let's there we go. Andrew. Okay, I'm back. I'm Hello back. Hello and welcome. Hello and, and welcome to ICY has gone on. Oh, no, it hasn't. Stop. Hello and welcome to another episode of the <laughs> Face <laughs> Podcast. Uh, this is the intro. Uh, it's brutal. This is episode 127. My name is Jeff <laughs> Ramsey. With me as always, uh, the other ones, Andrew and Gavin. Hello. Uh, for, first off, uh, let me just start off this podcast this week by uh, taking full responsibility for uh, missing the pizza lunch and uh, any. I don't even remember if we were supposed to record a monkey movie or not. I <laughs> I I tried to sneak in. I didn't tell you guys about it in advance. I realized I didn't really think about it. Um, I had a very what I thought was going to be a very minor <laughs> little oral surgery, and uh, I was not prepared for uh for the equivalent of twenty root canals in my mouth at once that it turned out to be. Jesus I Christ. could not believe when you <laughs> text a picture. I, I, and I can't believe you didn't walk away. I thought that was what was going to happen. Well, well, the podcast isn't over yet today. Uh, <laughs> Wait, there's a photo? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll put it up in the, in the Discord right now. <laughs> this is a photo I sent Gavin uh, right after the surgery. It's just me in bed. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. That's that, not good. It got, it got, it got way worse. Um, it, it started you're... to swell. What what it is a photo of me in bed, <laughs> and the entire right side of my face looks like a balloon. You, uh, yeah. But more more near the mouth. Like it looks like you, I've got like a bunch of golf balls in one side of my mouth. It looks like your face is a bounce house that is starting to inflate. Like just the left <laughs> yeah, side, like yeah, when it starts yeah. going up. I'm like a Halloween inflatable uh, <laughs> in somebody's front yard that's 35 percent of the way inflated. Uh, it got. It ended up getting way worse, the way more painful uh, <laughs> later on. Uh, but that laid me up for uh, a lot longer than I anticipated. Um, and I, so if, if you'll indulge, I'll just run through that story real fast. I'd love to it. hear it. I, so first off, who the fuck schedules dentist shit on Saturdays? My <laughs> periodontist is, a, is, a, is, a, is Machiavellian. I'll say that. <laughs> this dude, he only does surgeries on, in Austin on Saturdays. I guess he does like Round Rock and Cedar Park or Kyle, the, you know, surrounding areas the rest of the week. But he only makes time on, on, in Austin for, on fucking Saturdays. So in June, I don't even think I mentioned this to you guys then. In June, I went on a Saturday and I, uh, I went and had a consultation with him. Uh, you guys have, I don't know if, you, if I've mentioned this to you guys before, but, you know, in addition to all the mouth stuff I have, I have gum problems, uh, my my. Orthodontist and my periodontist both told me that w uh, white people have shitty gums on average. And so I'm just work working with, with bad genetics here. Um, so with all the, uh, all the Invisalign and moving stuff around uh, and all the surgeries I'd had, uh, my gums had started to recede. Um, and it was something I was pretty worried about and I'd been talking about with my dentist a lot and she kept kind of pushing it off. And eventually, uh, eventually I went to the periodontist and he was like, holy shit. Your gums are bad, dude. You need to get this fixed pretty fast. Um, otherwise, you're going to get bone density loss, and then that's bone grafting. That's all. It gets way worse, you know. Jeez. Like, oh the my pro God. Problem, problem escalates, right? So um, the procedure to get a gum graft, uh, and it's going to sound rough, but I'll explain why I didn't tell you guys about it. The procedure to get a gum graft is, is one of two things. Either they remove skin from the roof of your mouth, uh, and then they sew it around your teeth and your existing gums to kind of bolster it, kind of beef it up, you know, uh -huh. give you some beefy gums, right? God. Uh, however, my gum loss was so severe that when I saw the guy in June, he was like, listen, you're actually, you're, you're, he was essentially like, your mouth is so fucked up uh, <laughs> that you're going to come out of this better. You, there's no, there's not enough, you don't have enough gums in your head 
to fix this. <laughs> so we're going to use a commercial solution. So basically, if you use if we use your gums from the roof of your mouth, that's like a two week recovery. Which, by the way, is bullshit. It is not a two week recovery. Uh, <laughs> if it's uh, and by the way, if I sound weird at all, it is still hard to talk, and my mouth still hurts, and it is mm-hmm. hard to smile, and it hurts to laugh. So uh, luckily, I'm doing the podcast with you guys, so that shouldn't be a problem. No, no, no laughing here. Uh, he goes. So you're. You, he goes. You need too much gums. So we're not going to be able to <laughs> use you. What? Every time, every time you have a you consult with a doctor or a surgeon, they always lay out like, "Here's well, here's what people do," and then they're like, <laughs> "Yeah, no, 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 no. That, yeah, <laughs> definitely not for you. <laughs> yeah, what you're- we're going to have to do for you." <laughs> Um, you you reminded we... me of when I had my my thumb surgery after I yeah. shared my thumb. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the doctor was like, "Oh no, oh no, no." Uh, anyway, so he's like, "You know, there's not enough gums in the world. You don't have enough. There's not enough gums in your body for you. So we're going to use a commercial solution. That recovery is only like four days." And I was like, "Oh, really?" He goes, "Yeah, it's basically like I, he didn't say where they come from, but they get gums." And I'm assuming they're dead people gums. You yeah. Know? What? This is a whole subplot in Oz, is what yeah. you're living. Yeah, okay, cool. I don't remember that part of Oz, but I'm assuming that I'm getting dead people's gums, which is Never. fucking it's great. What? I've totally, never heard of that in my life. Totally, they, totally they fine with that. gums? Yeah. yeah. Emily and I were like, listen, maybe I'll get some really talented person's gums. Maybe I'll learn, like, suddenly I can play the, you know, I can play the <laughs> trumpet or, like, maybe I'll get evil gums. Who knows, you know, but, like, it'll be an adventure one way or the other, right? <laughs> and uh, so I didn't really think anything of it. And then there was a long process from June until la- two weeks ago, where I tried to convince them to let me have this fucking surgery. I just I was playing phone tag between the orthodontist and the periodontist and trying to get them together. And there was a whole thing with stopping my Invisalign, which still hasn't been worked out, by the way. I just don't I'm just not on Invisalign anymore. The orthodontist telling me one thing. The periodontist is like, don't listen to him. Listen to me. And so they're like, they're <laughs> fighting. It's a whole fucking thing. Uh, a lot of drama in, in, in a lot of mouth drama uh, in the periphery. But um, so anyway. Eventually, I'm able to get it scheduled, and it was like I guess not last Saturday, but the previous one. And uh, I just thought, like he said, it's like it's in. You're going to be in and out in like an hour, hour and a half, and you're just like it's going to suck a little bit. You'll get some shots, you know, because we got to sew the gums in. But it's like it's not the end of the world, right? And so I go in. I have Emily take me just for the hell of it, even though I think I'm probably fine. I have Emily take me in on Saturday, and uh, I get in the chair, and he looks at my mouth and he goes. I think we can do this. And I was like, what? And he goes, I think, I think we can, I think we can, I think we can do this. And I go, so what does that mean? He goes, I don't think we're going to use the commercial stuff. I think, I think we're going to use you for you. And I was like, oh really? He goes, it's going to be close, but we're going to see. And I go, no, no, it's going to be close. (laughs) And then (laughs) you don't want someone who's about to perform surgery on you ever to state. It's going to be close. Let's do this. Strap in every Oh, I, I should also mention, too, that when I got the initial consult and he told me I was going to have the easiest version of this, he also said, it's way too much surgery to do in one sitting, so we're going to split it up. You'll do the top of your mouth, <laughs> oh, and then three God. months later, we'll come in and do the bottom. <laughs> Easy peasy, in and out. No big deal. Okay. Uh, this guy felt this guy felt like pushing it. He was like, he wanted to test the limits of his ability and my pain threshold. And so he goes, I think, I think we can do this. We're gonna, I'll get started on the top, and we'll just see how it goes. And I go, okay. And then they give me nitrous. No. And I'm like, the last, I didn't have nitrous for like the first three root canals. I had it for the last two. And it's like, I'll be honest with you, the root canals were fine with the nitrous. I was like, oh, it's, well, I, the nitrous, I'll be fine. You know, the, the shots will suck, but, um, but then my mouth will be numb, and I won't think about it. Uh, I'll just be like off in la-la land. I found the limits of, uh, of, of what nitrous can do for pain pretty quickly. <laughs> pretty fucking quickly. Um, so we get in there and, uh, first off, I don't know if you guys have had a lot of shots in your mouth. Uh, unfortunately I have, especially the last three years or so. Uh, I would say I maybe have had more shots in my mouth in the last three years than most people do in a lifetime. You always told Um, me to, when they ask if it's working, you'd say no. And then you get another one, get another shot. It's a, it's a minor inconvenience, but it'll pay off in the long run. Uh, I don't know if you guys have had shots on the inside of your mouth. It is a whole different world on the other side of your teeth. On the back end, you know, where your tongue and your uvula and the roof of your mouth and all that stuff is, that's a whole different level of pain from the outside, front-facing side of your mouth. The side that gets hit with, like, sun when you open your eye, when you open your mouth, or, like, hot (laughs) coffee or cold. It gets, like, resistant to stuff. The inside of your mouth, it's it's partially (laughs) protected by the outside of your mouth, so it is not ready 
for what may have been 20 shots. Um, God. Oh, my God. Getting a shot in the roof of my mouth, getting a shot in the floor of my mouth, uh, <laughs> I just like the night just did nothing no. for that. It was so goddamn painful to the point where I was just like sitting on my hands. I couldn't move. Uh, he gets me all numb, and and then are these shots because he's using you now? Like, was this what? Yeah, you're these have are to shots to use me, but because you're now using you, you We're now doing have more. to go through all these shots. Yeah, it's extra shots. Did you did you argue with him? No, about this? no. He, listen, he's a fucking. He, the guy's got a medical degree. I do not. I'm not going to argue with the guy. Yeah, but you, uh, this was your sure, chance so, to be like guy, a grandmaster at chess with your gums. Like, you're yeah, but I'm not. Outside I'm not. Count. And I don't. Okay. I don't for Fair a enough. second think I am. I don't for a second look at a chessboard and think I know this. Much like I don't for a second look at a mouth and think like I have. Domain. No, but this is like your like Mike scenario. You're getting the other person's gums. You're losing your ability to absorb talent. Is what I'm saying. I, I can That's understand I wanting to keep your own material. That's fair too. I well, just I, I feel I'm like just, they need to explain that yeah, you're going to get a million shots in this I'm trade. Bu I'm bummed at this point because I thought it was I was taking the easy road and this very quickly we've taken an off ramp uh, into, yes. into what's looking what's look like we're getting pretty far off the interstate here and it's I'm starting to get a little nervous. Uh, there's not a, it's not well lit on this street we're no. driving on and it's uh, it's a little sketchy. And um, your guide thinks that maybe this will work. Yeah, like not only he's are like, you off like, the well, road, it's how, like, he's ah, like probably. He's like the top. The top half of your mouth is the most fucked up, so that's where we're gonna focus. And I'm like, okay. Uh, and uh, and so he starts putting the shots in, and they're worse than I imagined. And I and they're really bad. And 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 you know, the shot makes you numb after the shot in the area where you already were. So like the shot's always one step ahead of the of the numb, right? So you're still getting the pain every time. Um, and so he gets me all numbed up really good. And I'm a little loopy from the nitrous. And then then he starts, he basically flays the, up, like, he basically Ramsey Boltons oh, the, the roof of my mouth. Oh, I can just feel like this pressure this and then hear him just, like, scraping with a knife, just, like, like strips of skin out uh, on the top the of my mouth. Thing I've ever heard. It's very uncomfortable, right? Very uncomfortable. And oh. remember, I'm expecting 90, uh, 60 to 90 minutes. He said less than an hour and a half, probably an hour, hour and a half, you know. And, uh... He does this for two hours <laughs> straight. And no. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, there is not enough nitrous and, and, and pain med in the oh world to inject into a person. It was 100% torture. It's torture. I just, yeah, I was it, it, was, it was literally, oh I just couldn't God. move, and it was pure torture, and it hurt so bad. And then at the end of two hours, he pops up for air, and he goes guess what and i go uh -huh, you know and he goes uh we got the top of your mouth totally done and um there might yeah i think there's gonna be a, enough i think we, there's enough of you left we can do the bottom and get you out of here in one setting and i'm like uh and i'm so i'm thinking I, I want nothing more like I, pay, I i want nothing more than to get out of this chair but i'm thinking i i will never get back in this chair again if i get out right so i'm like okay and uh, he does another hour on the oh, the, the lower half of my mouth oh. So for three hours, he uh, he Ramsey boltoned the roof of my mouth and then Frankenstein sewed it around my teeth and my gums on the top and the bottom. I got out of the chair. I was in a daze. I went out. I sat down in the, the thing next to Emily. She had to f fill out some paperwork. And I'll be honest with you, in the waiting room in front of 15 people, I just started crying. <laughs> I was just like, I was shaken uncontrollably. And I just, I was, it was such a like, it's kind of like when you, I don't know if you guys, well, none of you here have, I don't think, but if you've ever had a tattoo and it's gone, it gets into like the four, the five, the six hour range, you start to just like kind of lose a little bit of control. You start to get real shaky. You get real lightheaded. You just like, you just kind of start to feel out of it. I felt like that. And I just fucking sat there and cried until Emily took me home and then put a bunch of hydrocodone in me and put me to bed. And then I woke up and I took that picture of my face that I, I sent you guys. And, uh. And then my face ballooned up like it got way worse than that. And it was just like constant, constant pain. And in ways that I just hadn't anticipated because I thought this thing was going to be 60 minutes, somebody else's gums in and out. It was three hours. It was torture. The roof of my mouth is still so sucks so fucking bad, even though it's now two weeks past. It'll be two weeks Saturday. Uh, 
it's like the the surface of the moon. Like there are rocks and crags and hills and valleys in the roof of my mouth, and they all just burn and itch from growing back. And I can't. If it's one of those things where if you touch it, it hurts, but it itches, so you have to touch it. And so I'm just constantly fighting with myself. Uh, but anyway, so we get through all that, and then I, and I'm just a swollen mess for days and days and days. And I thought I was going to be cleaning the pizza oven and all this stuff. I can't get out of bed. Then as the swelling subsides, the second hell visits me, which I wasn't anticipating. The swelling obscured all of the hundred, well, it's probably 30 stitches, the pokey stitches. Once the oh, swelling no. subsides, the, st- the stitches appear like a porcupine. My oh. mouth has been a goddamn, it's like, it's, a, it's oh. just been like needles sticking out f- from between oh, every god. tooth in my mouth for the last week. Oh my god. I can't Your not Edward touch scissor them. Tooth. Yeah, I'm Edward Scissortooth. I can't not brush against them with my teeth. There are certain ones, especially in the top where he was really hammering away where it was bad. <laughs> it's just, it's so, it's so oh. 24 hour a day uncomfortable. And I'm too, that's like the stitches are supposed to dissolve at two weeks. I'm pretty much two weeks in. They're going strong. <laughs> They're just as annoying and painful as ever. And I, uh, and I just, so that's where I've been. I had this, I tried to sneak a, a really easy medical procedure in. I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. I wasn't even going to bring it up to you guys because I get, I'm sick of talking about my mouth and the dental uh-huh. stuff. And I thought I was past it. I thought this was one minor little blip. Uh, oh, and then the last thing he said to me, which is so fucking terrifying, and I still don't know what to think about it. He goes, he goes, it looks good right now. You're at 100 percent. When it come back in a month, we have maybe 100 percent, maybe 80, maybe 60. We'll see. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I was in no condition to ask. So I don't know if I'm supposed to have, like if there's a fear that I'll shed extra gums out and then I'll have to yeah. put them back in or oh they'll gosh. shrink over time or whatever. But I go back Does in like two weeks. Take, I wonder. I go back in like yeah, I don't know. I go back in like two weeks to see how I've healed, but um. But my mouth is just like, it's like a torture device right now. And I'm yeah. two weeks in. I can't eat anything. I actually had a hamburger yesterday. It was the first time I'd eaten like kind of food like that. And it was hard. I've been eating soup and oatmeal and applesauce for two straight weeks. I, and every I, time I eat a Red Baron pizza, I cut the roof of my mouth. <laughs> and it, 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 oh, it, oh, what a struggle no, for I'm, you! No, I'm no, just, no, 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 so I'm sad. sad. No, no, every you're right. Time. You're right. You don't think about how much stuff touch, yeah, fucks up it, the roof of your mouth. It just like digs out a little bit, like nicks it to the point where it's like, oh, I've just like dislodged a little bit of roof skin, and it's and it's so uncomfortable and irritating for for like two or three days. Yeah. I cannot imagine all of that. I can't. I hate that story so much. It sounds horrendous. Yeah. It's I can't awful. believe you're not addicted to opiates on painkillers. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, they, I didn't even finish the the pain meds they gave me. I've just been. Uh, I don't like the foggy feeling. So, um, and, and you know, I have uh, I have addiction issues. So I try to be on top of that. But um, but no, it's it's. I, I've been taking a lot of ibuprofen. Uh, the worst fucking thing is there's a couple on the well. The worst is the top, but there's a couple on the bottom where my tongue like naturally rests, where like I can't help but touch the stitch in the back, and I can mm. feel it move the stitch in the front on my lip. You know what I mean? Oh, so it's weird to like God. touch the back of your mouth and have it manipulate the front of your mouth. So connected. It fucking, <laughs> fucking sucks. Oh, it sucks oh. so fucking bad. It's and been you didn't such walk a away after fucking that? nightmare. Well, I'm in no condition to walk. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great. Outside of the mouth, do you have any other issues going on? Are your legs better? Your ankles? What's going on with the overall body? Yeah, how's the crotch uh, stain? Uh, I think the I don't I don't want to jinx myself, but I think the I think I, I've stopped taking jock itch medicine. Great. Um, I, I think I'm okay there. Fantastic. Uh, I have no idea the condition of my Invisalign because I can't put them back in for at least another mm-hmm. two weeks. Um, my finger is a hundred percent. I'm pretty sure it's broken. I just try not to use it and touch it, and so because I just don't have the energy to deal with it. Um, everything else is fine. Uh, my ankle's a little stiff here and there, but uh, it's gotten way better since I think I saw you guys last or talked to you guys last. Uh, the rest of my body is fine. It's just my mouth continues to per- persist to be an issue. Yeah. UFC 281 is live from New York this Saturday. Get closer to the Octagon with DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of UFC. Right now, new customers can bet $5 on UFC 281 and get $200 in free bets if your fighter wins. Check this out. Right now, everyone can earn up to a 100% boost with DraftKings Stepped Up Parlays. Go to DraftKings Sportsbook app, place a parlay today with three or more picks, and combine multiple bets like which fighter will win, total rounds, and more. 
UFC 281 is a fantastic car, and I'm so excited for it. Dustin Poirier versus Michael Chandler is going to be amazing. Uh, with payouts bigger than ever, DraftKings Sportsbook is where I go to bet on UFC. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code REGULATION, throw down $5 on UFC 281, and get $200 in free bets if your fighter wins. That's code REGULATION this Saturday at DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of UFC. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. I know none of you watch porn, but just in case you have any friends that do, you'll want to pay attention to this. With everything going on in the world, governments have increased their surveillance. They're using your devices to track your location, movements, and in many countries, your internet activity. You don't want to be literally caught with your pants, shorts, or trunks. What's the difference between pants or trunks? Are they the same? I have no idea. Either way... You do not want to get caught with them down, and one of the best ways to keep your online browsing activity private is by using ExpressVPN. When you use ExpressVPN, your internet connection is rerouted through a secure, encrypted server so you can surf the web anonymously without anyone looking over your shoulder. Look, I know you probably think all you have to do is use incognito mode and no one can see that you've watched every last hentai video on Pornhub, but you're wrong! Even when you use incognito mode, your internet provider like Verizon or AT&T can see every single website you visit. And if you live on campus or use a shared Wi-Fi, your network admin can too. To be honest, that's kind of scary. That's why I use ExpressVPN whenever I go online and I re recommend all of you do the same. Without ExpressVPN, you're giving people a free license to peek over your shoulder and see all the freaky shit you're looking at. So protect your privacy today and get three months of ExpressVPN for free. Visit expressvpn.com slash face. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash face for three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash face to learn more. This ad is brought to you by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. The holidays are just around the corner, and HelloFresh makes this busy time of year easier than ever with chef-crafted recipes and pre-portioned ingredients delivered right to your door, so you can spend less time meal planning and prepping. Save money on your dinner with HelloFresh and put it toward your holiday shopping. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. As your calendar starts to fill up this season, you can count on HelloFresh to get you some of your free time back by making cooking simple and quick. Each recipe and its pre-portioned ingredients come right to your door, so you can skip the grocery store and a lot of the prep. HelloFresh is a fantastic service. I love it so much. You get amazing meals. It's convenient. comes right to your door. Regardless of your experience cooking, I would recommend it to anyone. It is wonderful. So please go to HelloFresh.com face65 and use code face65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Face65 and use code Face65 for 65% off plus free shipping. And then I think the last thing I, I was going to talk about, um, we don't have to, we can cover it today, we can cover I kind of faced my, uh, my proposal to Emily and then uh, we are oh, all yeah. supposed to have, we're all supposed to have Icy Hot. I don't know if you guys want to do that this week or we just push it to well, a week. When <laughs> well, here's the thing with that. I, I, I started Googling, like, should you put, like, what happens if you put Icy Hot on your junk? And it's just horror story after horror yeah. story. And, and, and yeah, I don't we know haven't, what you were expecting. The Why would you where Google we it? discussed it hasn't come out yet, so I don't know the audience's thoughts on... I assume we're going to get bombarded with, don't do that, don't do that. I, it honestly scared me. It scared yeah, the no, shit out of me. It's a terrible <laughs> idea. Oh, it's can, terrible I idea. Talk, can I talk about some of my Icy Hot experience? Because I've never had Icy Hot or Tiger Bomb around me. Yeah, and it has been a time. I've I've learned that uh, I shouldn't be allowed to have it in my possession. <laughs> has been essentially the arc of the last time we talked. Have you been using? Oh, I've been using because I've <sighs> never used before, and I wanted to get a feel. So this is where three. I have three separate icy hot incidents that have occurred in the past <laughs> week. I know Jeff didn't buy any of the stuff that I said for one one of the stories. Gav, do you have like the whoopee cushion, the, the I got gum, a and all cushion, that? I got the bubbles. I got the gum. I got the candle. I got an extension okay, well, then, lead. Okay, then, then we'll go. We'll, I'll go through the the thing for that. I'll be honest. Was that a, was that a real request? Yes, that was a okay real because you asked everybody to get a six foot extension cord. So I got yes. that extension cord, and then they we're good. And then like yep. four or five days later, you're like, oh, by the way, get this a whoopee is, cushion and all is, stuff. And I thought this motherfucker's just trying to see how much. <laughs> 
No, oh, no, no, it, no. Well, this story, <laughs> this story occurred. There's a purpose for it. The reason why it was delayed was because this event hadn't happened when I talked about the extension cord yet. We're going to go with the first one. This is my first experience. I bought both Tiger Bomb and Icy Hot because I had no experience with either. I don't know what they're like. I don't know if they're mm -hmm. the same. They're different. Now, are these so, creams or roll-ons? These are creams. Okay, these are okay. the extra strength cream okay, good. for both of them. Good. So I'm sitting at my desk and I'm like, I'm going to try this out. So I'm going to coat. I'm just going to cover my left arm in Icy Hot. Just completely cover it. I'm going to cover my other arm <laughs> with Tiger Bomb. It's just completely coated. And it's just, fe I'm feeling the heat. I'm like, wow, this is a lot. I'm just sitting at my desk. I'm like, I'm going to go through this experience. About five minutes after I do that, I get a phone call informing me that somebody in my family has passed away. And it's, it's devastating. It's a crushing, it's a crushing moment. Uh, it's upsetting. But my arms are on fire because of the fucking icy hot and the tiger bomb. And I'm just, I'm, I'm starting to cry. I'm having a terrible time. I'm like, I just need to lay down and cry for a while. So I crawl in the bed. I'm getting icy hot and tiger bomb over all of my sheets. It's everywhere. My pillow mountain, my pillow mountain isn't up. So I'm sorry, I'm laughing. It's not funny. <laughs> no, no, it is funny. It's very funny. I'm telling this because I texted Gavin about this and he, so I'm miserable, I'm in pain, <laughs> I'm crying, I'm stuffed up, I'm starting to get a headache, and uh, I'm like, I can't, I can't stay in this bed, I'm fucking ruining these sheets, I'm just gonna sit in my bath and cry and be sad for a while and just ride this out. So I go to hop into the tub. I recently was given this wonderful gift, I got a bath pillow, which is like a pillow that you snap into your tub, and it just, it, it makes the relaxation better. I'm gonna drop a photo in the discord right now oh, this so is sick. the bath pillow and those are the bottles from the clenching story in the past so you get some <laughs> further one of these was potentially that, in your eyes oh, the big one the big one the in the big middle one dude. in the middle was I the one that I, I thought i could pull that out of any lineup <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i got this this pillow and i'm climbing into the tub and my ass hits it and it falls into the water and I'm upset and now I got my arms are on fire my pillow is now drenched in water and I'm like I, I'm so overwhelmed I don't know what to do I'm just gonna snap this to the wall so I just grabbed it and I snapped it up higher so my head wouldn't rest on it and so I'm sitting in the dark sad my left arm is on fire with tigers I got icy hot on the other arm it's terrible and then I start getting dripped on by my pillow with cold water. <laughs> and I just started laughing because it was just disaster after disaster. And I just couldn't. It was like, of course, now I'm getting I'm getting dripped on by this fucking pillow. <laughs> when I told Gavin the story, it's such a funny goddamn comment where he's like, you you're like a cartoon character. Like in cartoons, a rain cloud is over a person when they're sad. You made your own rain cloud. I'm just sitting in the tub. So that was my just first. Imagine him in the tub with a little, like tiny little gray storm over his head. <laughs> Drip. It's my dumb bath pillow, which is great. I love it, but it's a ridiculous thing to own. So that that's my first experience with Icy Hot. Can now, I ask, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Of course. Which one was more intense? Icy hot? I have no idea. You the research tell the difference. was out the window as soon as I started crying. I, I was no longer paying I attention. I feel like I feel like they're only made worse by coming into contact with water or more intense. Was that not the case? We'll get to that. Okay. Uh so now we're gonna we're gonna move into story two. Now, Gavin, you have the items I've sent you. When I tell you to prep the items, I'd say right now. Okay. When I say the product, uh use it the way that it is intended. So just to confirm, I'm getting out the whoopee cushion, the bubbles, a candle. Yeah, so the first thing is, the, can you light your candle? Are you able to do that? Uh, you know what? I didn't get a lighter. Hold on. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll let him get a lighter. Prepare. Get my well, now, I feel, now I feel bad for not buying all this random shit. <laughs> you, you, really should have re you really should have emphasized that you were serious. Well, it I just did, never got I mean, mentioned. It felt it was such an aside the way you did it. I, I don't think that's true because I made a fucking Amazon wish list and sent it to you guys. So it'd be easier for you to find. Did I you really? Read that tech. Yeah, oh. I posted well, it in the Slack. I was like, right. hey, here's a link if you want to order this I'll be honest. on Amazon. I've, I've, I've been off my game with the mouth stuff. I may have just missed that. No, that's fair. Totally fair. Uh, okay, so let me, let me organize this. Wait for Gavin to come back. This is two of three, and I think this is the most expansive 
story, but uh, I need to talk about the third event because it has impacted other things as well. <laughs> oh, it's oh, been a lot shit. of pain. Okay, you back, Gavin? Yeah, I got a lighter. Uh, so Gavin, Gavin and Eric are always talking about the genius that is the the exciting experience that is D box. And we got a new avatar coming out. The first avatar, biggest movie of all time. I don't know if that's still true. Probably isn't. But it was huge. And that was all about new technology. So I thought I need to bring some new technology <laughs> to the podcast game. So this is the do box experience because you got to do it yourself. This isn't the <laughs> do box. You can't do it for do you. Box. So this is we're doing do box right now. Should I so be the filming audience, this? No, I don't think so. You don't have to. But if the okay. audience wants to be in the, the, the do box, I almost said the wrong thing. The do box experience, you will need a candle, a pack of dentine ice, bl bubbles that you can blow, and a whoopee cushion. I believe that's All right. So right. stop, stop, pause the podcast here, or go don't. go to Target or Walmart, later. buy that shit, and then come back. All right, I'm just gonna so light light your candle. <clears throat> I just filled up the whoopee cushion. <laughs> all right, I think I'm all set. I got all my tools. Okay, so what happened was, this is like probably the fifth or sixth time I've used Icy Hot at this stage. And I, to be completely honest, I was kind of disappointed with the effect of it so far. So I thought I'm going to like quadruple, I'm going to use quadruple the amount I've typically been using, and I'm going to coat my arm in it. I'm just going to fill it. Can I, can I ask you a question? What effect yeah, are you go going for? Do you have a sore arm? Uh, sometimes I get a sore wrist on the one that I dislocated for a long time. You, you know, it's realize. like for muscle pain, right? Like it's not. Yeah, it's just okay. it's more like the the icy hot effect. Like I was expecting it to be more intense than it had been to this point. So I thought, what if I apply more? Of it? Maybe I'm not applying enough to get the effect that I would assume that it would have. So applied all my arm. I'm playing stacking. I was at that time, which is a great game. Have fun with that. I immediately, it works. Like, it's successful. My arm is radiating. It's so much cooler than it had ever been before. Like, this is great. I just have to use more if I want it to be a more intense <laughs> effect. So it's good. It kind of dies down after a while, so I'm not happy about that. But then, uh, whoopee cushion. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. So, it sounded so minimal. Uh, so the problem was, it was a Trojan fart. It had more in it than I was anticipating. <laughs> so I had to quickly run to the bathroom. So I'm in the bathroom, and I'm just sitting. I'm sitting using the bathroom. I'm on my phone. I'm watching clips. I'm just having. I'm having a good time. Denty nice, Gavin. Having a good time. How many? Just the two. Two. Start chewing away. Mm -hmm. Denty nice. So I'm sitting, I'm, I'm on the toilet, done, stand up, I'm in the sink, I'm washing my hands. All of a sudden, my asshole feels like the feeling in your mouth right now. Mm -hmm. It is a cold <laughs> chill. I have made an error. I use the Which same by the, hand. By the way, that's the, what you're describing, that's the joy that is the too spicy icy. It is, yes. But that is, so the difference between the too spicy icy and this experience is I'm at first shocked and, and terrified because I, I realize what I've done. I've used the same hand. This is a problem. But then it's kind of nice. It feels good. Like it's kind of a frosty freshness. Everything's like, sweet. Like your butthole's I'm, minty. Yeah, I imagine this is what like Sub-Zero's door feels like. Like it's not too cold, <laughs> but there's a definite feeling of cold what? What? in the air. Sub-Zero. I assume he lives in a cold place. Does yeah. He likes cold? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, but it's not door. Yeah. Be because yeah, because, because all the, cold the inside, inside is colder than the yeah. outside. Yeah. So it's no, not freezing, it. but it's because it's radiated through. It's a lesser cool. It's a nice feeling. But then, but then I remember that this has waves, and the panic really hits. And I'm like, oh fuck! I feel like I have lit a fuse to my ass that I need to try to <laughs> extinguish as quickly as possible. So I hop in the tub, I fill it with water, I'm just, I'm just holding, I'm clenching because mm. I'm terrified, I don't know what's going to happen, it's just, it's a bad, it's a bad time, it's, it's, it's a fury, thanks, uh, blow bubbles, Gavin. Oh shit, that's a seal on the, hold on. <laughs> Get the bubbles ready. So I'm sitting in the tub, I'm in pain, 
I don't, I'm clenching real hard. My arm is once again on fire. It has, has come back a little bit. I'm feeling the heat. You blow bubbles, Gavin? I'm still trying to get the lid off. Okay. Well, I'm just going to continue. You blow bubbles I'll when know, you can. I'll let you know when, they, when they're coming. <laughs> okay. Are you still chewing the gum, too, or have you discarded <laughs> yeah, the Yeah, you can the get gum, rid of the gum. The gum is still in. Gum it's, it's okay. This is a very, it's very do-it-yourself. It's actually a little bit distracting from the story, but the effects are amazing. As soon as I, you yeah, it, it, talked about your asshole being like this gum, I could imagine it so well. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it was the same feeling. And I hadn't had Denty Nice in a long time, but I was like, oh, oh my God, this is Denty shit. Nice. Am I, are you okay? He spills. That's, he spills. That's he spilled bubble juice everywhere. all over the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> oh, This is great. All right, hang on. I'm blowing. Okay. I'm just gonna... Blow some bubbles. Oh, oh God. <laughs> you okay? Oh, God, that's a shit. <laughs> 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 oh, my mother. Oh. <laughs> so then I fart under the water, and it is like the gates of hell opened with the gas, oh, which confirms. On. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Weld it. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> it's blown up again. It's an underwater fart. So it was fiery, and I realized that, oh, God, like, my fears are confirmed. My asshole is on fire right now. This is terrible. I'm going to do Go a ahead. slightly more advanced move, Andrew. I'm just going to get okay. some... I'm going to dip the tip of the whoopee cushion in the bubbles Yeah. Okay. to try and mimic the underwater fart. Oh, this is ah, a great shit, idea. that's hot. Put my hand in the candle. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to see if this does anything. <laughs> Dude, that sounded so sad. <laughs> it blew a little bubble. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh. Andrew, you're inventing a new form of entertainment here. I, have, I fucking yep, love this it. This is for I the can't do box. Wait for us to do box again. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so that happened. I'm terrified. I'm continuing to clench, uh, and but then things go okay. I'm there for like oh. ten minutes. You okay? <laughs> you okay, Kevin? <laughs> Gavin? Yeah. Okay. I'm having such um, a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I need to wash my hands. <laughs> <sighs> is he just blowing bubbles with the whoopee cushion? He's just, he's, just we fucking lost. He's, he's, he's nine he's years gone. old now. We're, he's yeah. on a different, yeah, this is great. Um, so I think uh, things are terrible because yeah. of the, fire, the fiery farts. Then things calm down for a bit, and I'm okay. But then my arm reignites. The yeah. icy hot really kicks in. Yeah. And I am now once again terrified because it applied to my arm about 15 minutes before it got in my ass. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering, like, am I on a clock? Is the clock running now, like, in 15 minutes? And I am I going to experience this wrath once again in my asshole? Um. And I was paranoid. 15 minutes passed after that. Nothing happens. But I was so scared. I spent an additional hour in the tub. Just nervous. Just that it would appear. Yeah. yeah. Just to be safe. Yeah. And then I cautiously. I don't know if Gavin's back. I'm back. <laughs> okay. After all of that. I cautiously get out of the bath. And confirm that the fire in my ass has now been extinguished. Gavin, blow out your candle. <sighs> and that was our first do box experience that was phenomenal <coughs> what experience i had a really good time <laughs> with all my tools i made a real mess <laughs> i am so jealous that I, I i feel so lame that i didn't participate but that is it was so fun to listen to i'm so excited for us all to do box in the future <laughs> i have one more icy hot incident um that that has uh, been a, a, a massive annoyance in my life oh yeah please where after all of this, this is, this is the third event that occurred. I thought, I didn't really remember how we got to balls. Because we yeah, were talking I, about one of y'all. It was one of you two. Oh, it was definitely Gavin. Balls? But, it was a baseball thing. Yeah, but the whole thing was that they would apply Icy Hot I was thinking to ears, their ears. And then somebody was like, oh, we'll put it on our balls. And I was like, no, that was yeah. the story Eric told about the guy who rubbed it on his cock and balls. I don't remember that story mm. at all. I just remember us talking about the, the Padres pitching thing. with Oh, the ears. Roger Clemens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we went to ball. Okay, so there was a reason. I just didn't remember it. But I thought, huh, I wonder what the ears would feel like. So I hopped in the tub. I'm in the dark once <laughs> again. It's the evening. Are you still sad at this point? Uh, no, I'd say I'm on the upswing. Okay. 
I'm getting, I'm feeling better. Not great, but I'm, I'm getting there. This is a few days later. Um, and I'm sitting in the tub. It's filled with water. I'm like, okay, I'm now going to apply the icy hot, but I'm in the dark. So I need a light to see everything. So I use the flashlight app on the phone that you gave me, Gavin. Uh, and I put it on the side of the tub and I turn for the icy hot and it slides in like a skateboarder going down a ramp. Like it just rolls into the water and I immediately <laughs> panic because I have a small crack in the bottom left corner of the screen. I'm like, oh, it's going to fill with water. So I put my foot on it and I slide it up the other end of the tub and I'm applying all of my pressure. It's like it's on the balls of my feet, essentially sticking up above my toes. And I'm pressed. I'm fully extended in the tub. I'm imagining with like a Mission Impossible one. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what's going on. And the flashlight is blasting me in the face. That's the way it's facing. And I'm trying to to figure out a way while the water is fully turned on so it's filling with hot water the hottest water it could have and i'm trying to navigate all this i'm attempting to move it to a place in which i could grab it but it's not working i can't go under just with how the tub is designed i can't get it wet again because i'm worried about the hole so i spend like 10 minutes attempting to do this myself and uh, i'm struggling i'm like okay i'm gonna try to get it to move walls so i adjust it it slides down my feet and now it's in like the arch of my foot where it's not sticking out at all. And, and I am completely screwed. And so I'm just laying there, my flashlight in the dark, with my phone trapped to the wall with my foot. And I have to call out to my partner if they wouldn't mind coming in here. I need a hand. I need a hand with something. And they open the door to me like fully stretched out in the tub naked with a phone beneath my foot. So are you, still, are you like on your back with your foot pressed against I, the opposite wall still? I am. Yes. So that I'm surely my, means your genitals are fully up in the air sticking out of the water. Oh, oh yeah. it's de it's ev yeah, it's not. It's a terrible image <laughs> for anyone to see. And they just open the door and say, what are you doing? Because I've got this flashlight and I'm like, I can't. Could you please just grab the phone from my foot? And they're like, you looks are like an awful <laughs> selfie being taken. <laughs> <laughs> so they they grab it and they give it back to me and they just say, you are ridiculous. And then they leave. Uh, I say, thank you. I'm I'm happy because I think my phone is okay. Everything is good. About three hours later, I haven't been able to get my speakers to work since that point, um, which sometimes happens where it, like it'll think that there's because there's a residue or something in the headphone jack. It thinks that I have headphones plugged in when I don't. <laughs> so that's that's been an issue in the past. My speaker starts to hiss a little bit, and I thought, oh, this must be this must be it like i there must be something there like something's going on i will suck the moisture out so i attempt to suck the moisture out i get the little vibration you get you know like when you hit a key on a phone my phone vibrates then the entire thing dies i killed my phone my phone died i have been phoneless for like six days at this point i just set up my old shitty hot dog device phone that i love but it's terrible um, while my new phone arrives, because it's going to take another week. And I missed you both, so I just wanted to be able to text you. Uh, so that's been, that's been my icy hot experience to this point. I shouldn't have it. It shouldn't be near me. It's been terrible. So let me ask you a question. Uh, well, I'm going to ask two questions. One, uh, did you put it on your ears? And if so, how was it? I did not apply it to my ears at that time. No, I did, I did, that was not. It never came together. I was crushed by the, uh, the phone experience have you at <laughs> any point used it as intended one time okay. yeah i do as i said i sometimes my wrist flares up a little yeah. bit and i was like i'll try i'll try it on this and see if it helps at all well i, I don't feel like it did but. well it might not have been for that specific I issue but if you ever have sore muscles i would recommend it. It, 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 it when used properly it can be highly effective the problem the main problem with icy hot or t uh, which by the way i i think is trash i i recommend i highly recommend tiger bomb uh is that it's kind of like psychedelic drugs, like uh, like acid or uh, or maybe like mushrooms, where like it's fun at first, but then at some point you're done with it. And you're like, oh, I had that experience. I'm done with this. But it's not done with you. It's it, it mm -hmm. works on its own timetable. And so I see how it can be like, no, no, you, you've you're in this you're in this for another two hours, whether you want to be or not. And that's, is there anything that, that counteracts the effects if you want to get rid of it? Oh yeah, easily. Like what? Oh, did, did, did you want to know what that was? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Time. <laughs> oh, just time? Just, just oh, time. Oh, great. Old-fashioned time. Old-fashioned time. Yeah. Old yeah. time. Yeah. Takes care of it. 
Ooh. Like right now, Andrew, mm. enough time has passed. Doesn't feel any effects. No, oh, I don't know if I'd say that, but um, <laughs> should we? Uh, we're we're kind of getting deep in this podcast. I got everybody on this show something. Should, oh, we, should we go to that before? Fuck. Yeah, this has been such on? a prop heavy show. This is amazing. So should it I is. be opening? Am I opening the envelope or the bag? So, Andrew, just so you know, there is a gift wrap bag, and then the second thing that came in a pack, I put in individual envelopes okay. so they also couldn't see what that was. Thank you so much, Eric. Is that so why I, my is, envelope says, attention, Ezra, and it's scribbled out? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I said, has it been the best my, time? Mine says Diane. All that? That's great. I'm it jealous, does not say Diane. Diane is also scribbled out. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, what, so what am I opening? Yeah, so I'll, I'll tell you in a minute I'm just going to lead into it okay. I think you should probably open the gift box first For, for both of you um, Okay, But, but uh, not yeah, yet As I said, not yet Oh, I haven't uh, even read the label been, What does this say? Uh, it says what does the from lips? Andrew Penn From Andrew Penn, okay. yeah <laughs> Great um, This is another gift that, uh, that I'd gotten recently It it's changed my life it, it brought something that I love to a different level and I've fallen back in love with this. It's been great. And so I figured I got one for everybody uh, related to the show. I did forget to get one for minor league fan Jack. Uh, I will plan on doing that later. Just I, I forgot about the time when I was ordering these. Uh, I think you can both open them now. Open them. Can, this better not be a red. This, this better not be a red baron pizza. Oh, it wow. Is <gasps> it's a tiny oh, waffle iron. Oh, a little and, uh, baby waffle iron. It's a tiny little baby. I've been making desk waffles with my tiny little baby it's waffle maker. It's changed maker. my life. I know, Jeff, you've been having food issues, so I, I understand if you do not want to participate in this, but uh, I just didn't want you to feel excluded. No, I appreciate it. And uh, this makes me feel really bad. I bought presents for y'all recently, too, and I forgot to give them to everybody, but I didn't get any for Andrew. Sounds like I need to Canada. buy presents for people. Oh, shit. So then you can open up your other your other item, um, which is essential, I'd say, to the experience. Yeah. Wow, that is really oh, small. That's, like like that's like a couple of bites. Cord. That's this amazing. Is, this is why you need... Yeah, this is great. Okay, oh. opening up the envelope. I hope, I hope Ezra doesn't mind. <laughs> oh, it's some pancake mix. I figured we could all cook a desk waffle together <laughs> on the show. I could show you my world a little bit and expose you to... The joy that you've been lacking. I'm gonna I'm gonna prep mine right now. I actually bought a skillet version as well. They have a skillet version of this product. I'm gonna put some bacon on too, which I haven't done yet. But I need to prep on the. Oh, I need to. That's what I need. Water. Oh, you, need, you, need you just water. need water. You just, just need water. water. You just water, water and you stir it. It's really easy. All right. Shall I shall I get the additionals? Yeah. Yeah. I'll go be ahead. right back. Right. I gotta get a be right back. Yep. Water. I'm gonna go get water also. I'll be right back. Fantastic. Uh. Nick, I also got Nick one. yours is at the office. Yeah. This is going to be great. I'm excited. I can't wait for you to try, Nick. You're going to have to give me your opinions. This is one of the best gifts I've ever been given. It is, I've made so many waffles, and I need to, because I still have like 50 pounds of mix. You just didn't pay it forward to us. Thank you. I did. <laughs> I did. Um, okay, let me prep this. I'm going to actually, I'm going to open my bacon. I forgot my fucking meat hands. Oh no, this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be messy. Let's. What, uh, what are meat hands? Uh, just like gloves. <laughs> I just said gloves. I thought meat you were giving a gloves. code name to your hands. <laughs> no, I don't have code names for my hands. All right, so first I should preheat the thing, right? Uh, yeah, it takes like three minutes to preheat. It's really quick, and it's oh, gonna shit. smell terrible. Oh, it's really? It's gonna smell terrible as soon as you smell? open it. That factory smell on the first one. I'm going to get this prepped. Shit, let me get my extension. Open this. Up. Here. All right, we have power. I open this bacon in the dumbest way. This with is your awful. meat hands? I, with, I wish I had my meat hands. Okay. Uh, I, just so you know, box. I'm back. Welcome okay. back. Um... Gonna keep opening this bacon. Oh, it's fucking! I'm getting bacon cheese all over my hands. My wife is. I just so you know, my wife is so excited. Is she having one as well? Oh, it's great. Uh, well, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make this, and then I will probably make more for her later because she loves. We have a waffle iron, like an actual, like a big waffle iron. 
uh, because she loves waffles. So when she saw a tiny waffle iron, she was... She said, tell Andrew that I say thank you for my tiny waffle iron. <laughs> what, what's our ratio? One cup to uh, how much p powder? It's like the whole thing with one cup of water and then oh, the okay. whole thing, I think. I don't think there's like a way to make just a little. Let's uh, cut my bacon. Got to mix it up. Oh, that geez, huh? good. Tiny little bacon strip. So anyway, I'm going to say, because we're far enough into the podcast now, we should still definitely, despite Gavin's misgivings and Andrew's experiences, we definitely need to see if the Icy Hot works to raise our comedic level. But we'll just do it next week. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. Um, well, next week, are we doing two episodes today? Because next yeah, week I'd, would be in two weeks. So, or like, oh, next, you know, you, I, like in two episodes, we will have the funniest episode of the podcast. Yeah, I'm, I'm good not. with doing another episode after this. Good. Uh, I can't. I got I, I got then it's next fun. week, there will be the funniest episode of the podcast. Oh, this thing smells so bad. Sorry, I just missed some discussion. Yeah, yeah, the first time. Yep, first time. It's, uh, it's terrible. So do I need to do anything after I plug it in? It nope. just has a blue so light. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Sounds like it's a sizzling. Oh, it's I need sizzling. scissors. Got that. <laughs> <laughs> I got some bacon on the grill. Let me, let me pour, pour some waffle mix. My other one. Um, how do I know when it's done? I guess it turned, uh, the, the light, it, it takes about five minutes. So whenever you put it in, just wait like five or six minutes and then you can, open okay. It and it'll be good. Yeah. Some I threw the instructions in. away. So, all right. I'm adding to the water. I've, uh, I've already got my first one cooking here. Got my, mine, got my bacon on. Ooh, it is got a hot waffle. surface. It's not kidding. It, it gets really hot. So here's the thing. Oh, what if shit. this changes our lives? It should. Like it did, Andrew. That's what I'm hoping for. Yes. That's what I'm, like, he, I, you know, hesitant, sort of reserved in this. I, you know, I'm not really sure if this is going to be exactly what I'm looking for, but Andrew is really hoping that it's really going to make us different people. And to the point where, like, maybe at, like, 2.45 every Thursday, we just mm -hmm. start a waffle going before a recording. <laughs> Are we a waffles only podcast now? <laughs> <laughs> waffles only? I like it. We have to eat, we have to eat um, waffles every time we record. I'm giving mine a good whisk. All right. It's oh, smoking is... like a motherfucker. It, <laughs> yeah, it smokes. It's not it smoking. It's real steam. smoking. It's steaming. Steaming, steaming like yeah. a motherfucker. What should the viscosity be like? Mine looks quite oh, liquidy. Oh, 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 the, the light turned off. Oh, oh, let me take a photo. Mine just turned off Sometimes, too. Oh, I, I'm very excited. Oh, I'm when so you turn it off, behind. that's when it's heating, I believe. I think oh, the light on means it's not heating, if I remember the instructions correctly. No, it's done. It's cooked as fuck. Hold on a second. Well, I assume when you open it, it'll either turn the light on or off, and then you wait the cycle out. All right. <laughs> Let me know when everybody's ready to eat. <gasps> Dude, Oof. I'm still whisking. It's wow, yeah, Jeff. So hot. Oh, it could get way crispier than that. I, I typically Jeff, that's but really That's awesome. a great first waffle. That's a great first waffle. Well, I'll, I'll put it on for a little bit longer to get it crisp. Well, I, you know what? I don't want it to be too much crispier because it'll hurt my mouth. <laughs> who that's who would have seen this coming instead of uh, us all putting Icy Hot on nuts? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this coming. I was into, fully anticipating I didn't warn hot. Jeff. I was like, your life is going to change tomorrow. Are you ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed it'd be from the Icy Hot. <laughs> All right, I think I'm ready for my first pour. Damn, that's hot. You haven't even poured yet? No, I was whisking <laughs> still. <laughs> just I'm trying to get the viscosity hide. right. Mine seems really runny. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's... That, can that I can eat be or should I wait for Gavin? No, I, I think... Oh, eat away. Don't wait on me. Yeah. Can, can I ask how often you guys are making waffles and things like that in general? N never. Um, I would, Maybe once a month. Okay. I, I was doing it rarely before this. This has been like every two days. Now, so it's the guy who has waffles. 70 pounds of pancake mix. Yeah, I know. It's been a real issue, but now I got this. It's great. I've only ever used the stuff where you like put it in the yellow. You put the water in the yellow container and shake it up. Mm. All right, I'm Don't pouring now. Oh, it's good. Oh, shit. Look at that going. I'm going to try and fill the crevs here. Okay, where's the drips going to go, though? Where are the drips going to go? Okay. Whoopsie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's you okay? Yeah. Up, up! I've put in too much. <laughs> oh, shit. Less, less is more, buddy. Oh, for f oh, my desk today. <laughs> it's got <laughs> bubbles. I've got spills. <laughs> I've overexed. No! It's spewing. <laughs> what does that mean? 
Take what pictures. What do you mean? What? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Jeff? Dude, I'm fucking great. I just had a waffle. Yeah, this is a great time. Oh, yeah. uh, shit. I mean, uh, this is great. I'm gonna have. Heaven? I'm gonna have. Tell Millie we're gonna have waffles for dinner. Let's, we're just gonna have breakfast for dinner tonight. This is awesome. I'm having a meh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I need to wash my hands again. <laughs> <laughs> you know we. The, you know what this tells me? What it tells me? We need to make our very own and sell regulation waffle maker. Mm -hmm. That we could like a face regulation waffle maker. That, That'd be great. Yeah. Oh, Gavin. No, Gavin. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. You Gavin. overfilled it so much. Dude, oh, I Gavin just posted a photo of it all over his desk. What? Well, it looks it like the side of a... The <laughs> it looks like the side of a French onion soup. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. I've, oh. I've botched it. That's a hard botch. Well... It really is a small area. It doesn't oh. take much. Oh, it's a tiny waffle. Yeah. I'm excited to see how yours turns out. <laughs> Dude, it is steaming away, this thing. Yeah, it's a steamer. You know what, though? Pretty soon you're going to be in Flavorland, and then it's going to all be worth it. How was yours? It's good. It's good. It was real good. It was, uh, it was crunchier on the bottom than the top. Like, the consistency was different, but mm -hmm. I'm sure it's just, you just, you, you figure it out as you go, you know? Oh, yeah. You definitely, it takes some attempts. Okay, the light has gone off. I would, I would let it sit for a little bit longer. Ah! There you go. Mm. See, uh, it's like glued shut. Yeah. Well, it, it literally yeah, is glued shut because of yeah. You overfilled it. Okay, come on now. <laughs> Get out of there. Ooh, 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 ooh out. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would love to look at it. Yeah. Photos, I wish please. my I had a phone that I could take a photo with. If you don't mind. Look, I'm gonna have to trim off the uh, the extensions. I gotta say, Andrew, you really brought it this week. Dewbox, waffles, uh, fucking icy hot and triplicate. Uh, yeah, I just you know, dude, I wanted to end it, end it with uh, Dewbox was nice great. Waffles. I just wish there was, um, I wish it was slightly more efficient. I did have to order a six pack of bubbles and whoopee cushions. <laughs> I did provide a link in our Slack for a singular one. Oh, so. you did? Yeah, I didn't use that. that. Uh, I gotta say, Gav, mess aside, that's a gorgeous looking waffle. That looks really good. It's pretty really good. That's one it by really far. It really does. Beautiful waffle. I don't know how to get That's it out. It's a beautiful waffle. Uh, that was difficult for <laughs> Do you me. You have anything to get it with? Uh, where's my whisking fork? Oh, it's covered in batter. All right, I'm going to yeah, get another fork. Yeah, you don't want to use that. Yeah. Oh, scissors is a good move. I, 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 I used the twist thing. tie that, that came with the, uh, that uh, tied up the cord for the waffle maker mm. to kind of poke it out. The bacon's delicious. The skillet was a great idea. So you have a, there's no way for you to send us a photo, huh? You have like a pocket skillet. No. I got a little pocket, and when I get my camera, I'll send a photo. Dad, how much room is on it for, like, could you fit, could you cook two pieces <laughs> of bacon? Is that max? Oh, no. No, I, I was able to cook, like, a third of one strip. Oh. Oh, it's, it's that small. It's very small. Oh, I want yeah. to see that. Are you meant to, like, burn the first waffle to get the factory uh, chemicals off, or am I just going to eat this? You're, gonna, no, you you're just, just going to eat the chemicals. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. This won't be what kills you. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Whoops. Mmm. That's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. It's actually not the best presentation, but that's a good waffle. It is. <laughs> I think there's improvements that can be made in your waffle game as far as the pour goes, but you made a great cook. That was a great first cook. Yeah, it was a great... As far as first waffles go, I think you did You did admirably. If Hey, as, as far as first waffles go, if you ate a waffle, you did it right. Oh. And, uh... I this is. This I'll is be honest. Great. I took I'm a look, so look at. I took a look at Jeff's, and I thought I can fill the fill the air a little bit better than that. And then, uh, <laughs> no, I, I was very cautious up. because uh, <laughs> I, I've used a waffle maker before a few times. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Just being able to share the waffle experience. Would you say you've been moved? Are you more open to the idea? Yes. Of uh, desk cooking. Yes. After this experience. Yes, I'm more open to it. I don't know that my life has changed yet, but. Next Thursday, when we roll around, if we're if I feel inclined to make a waffle, I think I'll start to see it in practice. Maybe after the newness yeah. is worn off a little bit, well, yeah. I don't think it's changed my life, and I'll tell you why. I had to run to the kitchen okay. five times in the process. Ex mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're kind of dumb like that. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have to run to the. I went once, like you know.
I'm just going to, I got the ideal setup for it. I got my little fridge next to it, so I fill up all my batter ahead of time in a bottle, and mm. uh, I just pour when I need to. It's perfect. Oh, I tell you something, the underside really carries that factory taste. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I will say, I don't know if I, I really enjoy this. I think where's this your pictures, nice. Eric? I'm sorry. My picture. Oh, hang on. Let me take a picture. I don't know if, you know, this is the thing for me. Uh, I do enjoy it. I think it's nice. Um, however, my dog is thrilled about, <laughs> uh, everything that's happening right now. It is, he's excited that it smells like waffles in a place that doesn't typically smell like waffles. So that's mine. Oh, that looks great. Thank you so much. Um, That's a great first You don't think if you took this to work and you threw it on your desk at the day job and like Patrick Salazar walked by and he saw he wouldn't be like, holy shit, Eric, this is innovative. You're brilliant. Um, I'll take all the credit in the world for it. Sure. I got no problem with that. Um, But, uh, (laughs) you know, I, I think, I think it's a great idea if I, if I use this at the office at work in my home office. I don't know if I don't know if it's a home office use for me. Does that I make see, sense? Does that yeah, track? Yeah. Okay. Yours looks totally so good. Understand. That looks great. That's a Thank really pretty so waffle. I yeah. Is that the first one? Yes. And I've just been letting it go all this time because it's be- like it feels yeah. undercooked a little bit, but like I think it's starting to brown up, get crispy. Um, I will say that Nick's is still at his desk at the office, so he could be the hero to the entire post room. And just be doling out. <laughs> be waffle <laughs> guys. Yeah. What did your small wife think about it? Oh, she's thrilled. She can't wait. She's, I mean, as soon as I'm, oh my God, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin. Gavin. God the, damn, this is a, <laughs> I will say that that picture that you sent looks like what I imagine uh, Andrew's desk is like all the time. Yeah. <laughs> no. He's, yeah. he's turning me into Andrew. <laughs> It's like Gavin's co- Gavin's desk is cosplaying Andrew's desk right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. Of course, oh. the, Gavin, your keyboard appears to be on and working, so it clearly couldn't be Andrew's. That's true. That's true. It's very true. What did you end up doing, by the way, with your keyboard? I just I swapped out. I used the keyboard, uh, a different plug-in keyboard. Mm. I haven't tried it since. I, I think it's pretty fucked. Mm. So not a great uh, couple of weeks for technology and you. Oh, terrible terrible stretch of technology for me what's your new but, phone uh, gonna be i'm just getting another re it's a refurbished google pixel oh, okay so, same idea but new phone how long how long do you think before you put it in the tub uh almost maybe a week okay. at best we're hoping we're hoping for two but <laughs> probably a week um i have a i have a confession oh boy thing to say now that we've had our, our delicious, nice waffle times. That was very sweet. I need, I need to confess and say that I have I've recorded this entire show with all of you with my ears coated in icy hot to see if I would focus better <laughs> as part of the experiment. This has been a grueling endeavor to get through. There have been times where I've winced <laughs> randomly when people are talking. I, and I will, I'd like to say at this stage, <laughs> didn't work at all. No, disagree. I was, I was zoning out. No, I was, hard no. disagree. Dude, you were on you fire no. this you episode. No, 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 This is an all-timer Andrew episode, period. I understand, <laughs> but it was the prep I did going into mm, it. It had nothing mm, to do mm, with I don't know, what was I, I don't know. You nailed I'm your bathtub story. You, you nailed I'm it. I'm telling you. I don't know, but it was a little bumpy. I had to... Go ahead. Here's what I would have. Here's what my review had. Had Andrew not said this last part, my review would have been uh, a fucking grade A, uh, A plus plus episode. Uh, Andrew was on today. He was just like he was like sharp. He was like quick to respond. <laughs> he was with it. He was funny. He was clear. He was like firing on all cylinders. I'm like this is like an all time great Andrew episode. And now I know why. All time Andrew episode. All time. Yeah, I don't think it had anything. To, I found it hard to listen at points when you were talking because <laughs> my ears were on fire. All I could smell was icy hot. I put way too much on. It went in my ear hole. It was a terrible experience. <laughs> I've been struggling this whole show. But I guess apparently if it works, I just, I just, just move on. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna be funnier than both of you. You're the funniest person. Give me the tiger bomb. See if this tiger bomb goes. Sure. <laughs>
That's true. I'm gonna have to. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to really lather up next oh, episode. Oh, the tiger bombs on. Yeah, I mean, I, I, tiger bombs on. Talk about jumping the gun. I'm still gonna do the icy hot on my balls next week. Yeah, but I was oh. just about shoveling it onto the beginning, but oh. I should have. Well, Andrew, you've, oh, done it, you've done it right at the end oh. of the episode. You're gonna the payoff is. Oh no! <laughs> oh! Oh god! <laughs> so hot! Yeah, I know that feeling. I, oh, I know God. exactly that feeling. Are, he's, we, are we in his bathroom? Oh, Where's he getting all this water from? He's in for a oh, really so shitty 45 minutes. So probably. Oh, I'm so Is he in the tub? Where's he gone? Where did he rub it? I think he put it on his balls. It's on his ears and his balls. He's tripping. Triple funny. Oh, 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 so oh, no. It sounds like he's oh. doing efforts. For oh, no. <laughs> oh. Here's what we're gonna oh, do. Yeah, we're gonna let Andrews. So we're gonna let Andrews comedy <laughs> play us out. Thanks for listening to another episode of oh. Face. This is episode 127. Oh, uh, we leave you with Andrew. It's not helping. Oh. Oh. Oh man. Oh, I don't feel any like funnier. Oh, it's really funny. Oh, shit. Oh, that was cold. That was cold. Oh, this is a mistake. Why did I do this? The waffle is so good. So oh, the ball. The fuck it? I can get this pillow out of here. Ah. 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 Hey guys, Major League Fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of Face. We get some deep pencil lore. What is our jokes per minute count? It's time for the Icy Hot. Gavin goes to all fours. Penn's keyboard is still broken. There's just too much CO2. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face. <laughs>